What's good guys, today we're having a look at three tripods in different price points by Smallrig, KNF Concept and Ulanzi & Komen. So let's review those. All of those tripods come in carrying pouches and let me say the best one and the best build quality, if I can say so about the pouch, is from Ulanzi. The second place goes to KNF Concept, it's a really nice bag as well, they all have shoulder straps and also the small rig is coming in this pretty cheap one but also okay to carry around and guys here are the tripods at their maximum height so small rig and ulanzi Coleman are basically identical i wrote down the numbers for you on the video itself but the knf concept can get super high i'm 183 centimeters tall and <laughs> I cannot even reach the top of this tripod, so it's basically more than two meters. And it's awesome if you need to shoot a concert, for instance, and there is a crowd of people, but you can raise your camera up high to this level and it's just outstanding. And uh, also it has this little mechanism, so it allows you to make a top-down shot, as you can see right here. So basically you can have it around 190 centimeters above the ground so it's very easy to make a top-down shot like i show you in this example so overall it's a super versatile tripod and it's much more versatile than those two but it's also a bit heavier because it's made out of aluminum those two are made of carbon fiber but the small rig tripod is made out of cheaper carbon fiber and it's um, mostly like very good plastic let me say i do think that it's carbon fiber but still the build quality is not superb but this ulanzi Coleman tripod i have a full review of this as well i'll leave it down below i mean the link for it but this carbon fiber is super durable but it's also the most expensive one both knf concept tripod and the small rig tripod have uh, built-in monopod so you can unscrew this part and use it as a regular monopod with the ball head of the tripod itself and it also has this little uh, coverage so it makes your hands feel better especially right here in Moscow in the middle of the winter and on um, Ulanzi we don't have a monopod option but this tripod is super lightweight and it's super easy to use as a monopod just using one leg of this tripod also in terms of the ball head this has a different system it can go vertically the same as those two but also it has a little different system and i do prefer this system a bit more and i've been using this tripod for a lot of times like in tra during traveling and all that and it's been showing great results in terms of stability they all are pretty steady and they all have a little hook underneath so you can hang something like a sandbag or anything else or your backpack to make it more stable and i do suggest you do so every time you use any of those tripods and uh, the Ulanzi and Komen has a built-in hex key so you can have your key all the time with you and tighten all of the sections of this monopod speaking of sections the KNF concept has twist lock mechanism and I'm not a fan of twist lock mechanism because sometimes it may get loose and sometimes you do not uh, do it all the way in and it doesn't <laughs> come off or it's just a little sticky so I'm not a fan of it the small rig has latches but they are super plasticky and i think you'll be able to break one of those easily in like i don't know half a year of extensive and active usage and the ulanzi Komen they have latches but they are made out of carbon fiber or super high quality plastic and it had zero issues with those latches for more than several months so thumbs up for the build quality and the latches mechanism for the Ulanzi as well. All three tripods have built-in quarter 20 mounting points on here, on here and right here. But Ulanzi has strong metallic screw hole whereas the KNF concept and small rig they have kind of plasticky things. So I guess guys you will be able to break the threads on there or to just you know <laughs> totally break it if you put something very heavy like a heavy duty monitor in here all three tripods have this little mechanism which allows you to put the legs in this kind of position so it can be used very long but ulanzi Komen has detachable part of this section so it can get even lower and you can also reverse mount this column to shoot from the lowest part you also can completely remove this column and put it upside down with the knf concept and uh, small rig you know 
small rig is small rig <laughs> actually i'm not really liking this tripod yet i hope small rig will improve it in the future generation but as for now i'm not a fan in terms of the weight and portability here are the numbers for each tripod so basically olanzi and komen and small rig are pretty lightweight tripods olanzi and komen being the lightest and the KNF concept is being the heaviest, but there are different options for this tripod without this system for top down shots, for instance, and it will be much lighter and also cheaper. So you can get this kind of tripod a bit lower and without this uh, top down feature for less than $100, which is a killer deal. And both the KNF concept and the small rig tripod have this little feature. So the bow head gets up here and you collapse the legs vice versa so basically like so and it gets this compact and tiny so also the ulanzi Komen is getting the most compact thing because you know it's just a super heavy duty but super lightweight and compact tripod love it all three tripods have a feature of smooth pan ball head so you can do smooth pans with either of those tripods and it's a draw here and they all come with Arca Swiss tripod plate. It's a very popular uh, plate type, so it's a draw here as well. And all three heads have bubble levels, but you won't be able to see those bubble levels when you attach the camera. So it's kind of a draw once again. And guys, a few words about why you need this type of tripod. Any situation with a static camera, like interview setup, some speeches of, uh, you know, uh, CEOs of companies or shooting yourself like I do right now for your blogs and vlogs or making some kind of tripod um, I mean time lapses or something else so this kind of tripod is a very nice piece of kit because it's not that heavy pretty stable and also very versatile and it costs not a lot of money from $100 to about $200. I'm not saying about the Ulanzi Coleman because it's $300, it's more expensive, but it's super cool and I enjoy using it a lot. So my suggestion is to look at KNF Concept tripods because they are pretty cheap. The build quality is really nice. Aluminum is not that heavy. And especially this model has the top-down feature and extremely good height. And also the Ulanzi Coleman is just superb in terms of build quality lightweight compactness and all that stuff but as far as the small rig goes maybe it's this particular model but it feels a bit cheap and unstable and all in all i cannot recommend this tripod as for now and guys the prices the ulanzi Komen is pretty expensive but comparing it to for instance peak design uh, carbon fiber tripod it's not that expensive but it's pretty expensive as i said before Olanzi and uh, KNF Concept is around $140, $160 and you can buy cheaper versions of KNF Concept, a bit lower, a bit lighter, but with the same build quality and type. So all in all, between those three, in terms of budget and overall quality of the tripod, I would go for the KNF Concept. But if I had a budget, I would go for Olanzi Komen because I've been using this tripod for months and I'm loving it. So guys, if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. My name is Alek Nikitin and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.